hello welcome back so today we are going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup and this is new drugstore makeup that's released new drugstore makeup that's new to me i don't have anything new from the drugstore as far as brows go so i'm gonna go with <laughs> what i always use which is the nyx micro brow pencil i want to say something as well so someone commented on my last video which was a full face of high-end makeup and she said there's nothing in this video that is high-end and high-end is basically like Givenchy Dior and all of the other very very expensive brands right so I am going to agree to disagree because I do feel like most of the brands that I use they are they are somewhat drugstore because of the prices that we see in the drugstore nowadays but I've literally been doing makeup since I was like eight years old like I was playing in my grandmother's makeup playing in my sister's makeup I got my own makeup kit and then when I got older I started diving deeper into makeup I literally been doing this since 07 so <laughs> I've been researching a lot since then and when I tell you no these brands are high-end they're high-end well now they wouldn't be considered high-end they wouldn't be considered high-end they would be considered drugstore but these brands are high-end because back in the day you could take $25 go to the drugstore and come out with four or five four or five products nowadays $25 is one product from Sephora so that's high end everything i used in that video was it either retailed over 25 dollars and less than let's say less than 40 45 so yeah if you add everything that i used up in that video i could take that amount go to the drugstore and ball out so everything i used in that video is considered drugstore to me because of what I've been learning in the makeup industry or what I've been learning throughout my makeup journey yeah that's high-end but I have to say because of the prices nowadays that we see in drugstore yeah I would say it's drugstore especially rare beauty and list beauty I would consider those drugstore but the one size one size that foundation was $33 that milk grip primer I had the $18 one but it retails for $36 I don't know where you're paying $33 for a product in the drugstore or $36 for a product in the drugstore but let me know and I won't go there I feel like Dior and Givenchy and all of that, all of that $60, $70, $80 uh, makeup, that's leading towards more luxurious. I feel like that's leading more towards that. Then we can just say that's high end. Like, I feel like I would call that type of video like a luxurious full face of luxurious makeup products. Because if I'm spending... <laughs> A good eight hundred, nine hundred thousand dollars on a product that's gonna be luxurious. It's not just gonna be oh high end like no. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Elf Power Grip Primer. This is what it looks like. It has a green tint to it. And this actually sets down and gets tacky and this is why I say this is better than the milk hydro grip because of the tackiness it just has a little bit more of a better grip than the hydro grip to me all right so for foundation I am so late 
on this foundation but when i tell you i cannot find my shade in stores i still don't even know if this is my shade and i just went ahead and picked it up hoping that it was going to match so this is the oma beauty by sharon c the flawless in real life skin perfecting foundation i have the shade black pearl t1 and this is what that looks like so i'm just gonna shake it up because i have a bad habit of not shaking up my foundation and i'm gonna put it on the back of my hand i did about three pumps and that is what that looks like i'm gonna go ahead and use a foundation brush for this Ooh. oh actually wait a minute i think i did a good match i think i matched it Maybe I might have put a little bit too much, but I think I actually matched it very well. I'm just gonna take what else is left on the back of my hand and go ahead and use it for the other side. I don't even think that I need any more. Yeah, I might need one more pump. So I'm not even gonna do a whole pump. I'm gonna do a half a pump. And that is gonna take care of the rest of my face. Make sure I blend down my neck. We're gonna stop for a second. And we're gonna do eyes because I usually do eyes before I do my face but I'm guessing because I was in the flow so I have this profusion electric blues palette it has eight shades in it and this is not new anymore I picked it up when it was new and I was supposed to do a look with it never got around to it this is the sheet that goes in it and this is what that palette looks like it's very cute I swatched it and never used it after that so we're gonna use it today actually I'm lying I'm gonna go in with the shade nautical All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse out the edges with the same brush. Okay, then I'm gonna take the shade Waves. gonna take the shade frisky
All right, so now that my crease is cut, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shades Idle and the shades Die. And this shade actually works best without being sprayed. I sprayed it on the other eye and it came out terrible. Um, so yeah, definitely. So I definitely had to pack it on. I'm gonna go into the shades Enigma and Nautical and just blend that all in. So now that my eyes are finished, I'm going to go ahead and go to liner. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Jet Setter Liquid Liner. And like I said, what's not new now is new to me because I haven't picked it up and tried it yet. <laughs> Calm down. But I am going to go in with the Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. This is the waterproof one. I do like this mascara, it's very subtle, not extra, it's not giving dramatic, but at the same time, I don't really have any lashes to be dramatic with, unless they're falsies, so. For concealer, I am gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear, and I'm kinda packing this on, cause like I said, the last time, and I'm gonna do eye by eye, last time, it just blended in and looked like my skin, which is great. But I do want like a highlight. That's the reason I conceal. I have no idea what's going on with my wand it's kind of like bent I don't know if all of them are bent like that or if it's just mine but I don't know what's going on with that one To set my concealer, this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. I have the shade Medium Tan. And I think I'm going to set with a brush today. Usually I like to set with, um, <laughs> this is what that looks like. Usually I like to set with a beauty blender, but I'm just going to tap off.
actually that looks really nice Hey, actually that looks really nice i feel like this shade is giving me a white cast but honestly i don't mind it and this was like really cheap i think like four dollars the putty bronzer the elf putty bronzer and i had the shade when i tried this i didn't like it i had the shade beach please and I went and picked up this shade called Sunkiss because Beach Please was just, it was really, really dark. Cause this was all the rave. And I did want to give it a second try because I didn't really like it. I love my ABH bronzer because that just, you know, but we're gonna go ahead and try this one. See if we like it um okay off the rip yes it's so smooth it blends out just like the ADH one I do go in with the beauty blender <laughs> after I go in with it um, with a brush and I do blend it out pat it out because you're gonna look greasy if you don't we don't want that all right all right so I pat it out with a beauty blender and it blends out nicely that bronzer looks really really good like it looks really good so for blush i'm gonna use the pressed powder blush this is in toffee cake and this is from a collection if you don't know ColourPop, if you're not familiar with ColourPop, they release something like every other day right so this once was new and now it's not but we're gonna roll with it okay so i'm gonna use just a regular um just a regular blush brush and this does have shimmer in it I don't know if you can tell but it does have gold reflex in it and I'm kind of starting to be a fan of that for some reason I don't know when because I usually used to hate blushes with shimmer in it looks really good like that I've always felt like these products were pointless but now I'm just like it kind of saves you time like find a blush with some shimmer in it and it'll save you from doing highlighter you know and that looks really good on my skin and i'm still gonna put some highlighter on i don't have a new highlighter but i'm gonna use the milani baked highlighter and champagne dior this is what it looks like it's so pretty and you only need the slightest bit but i'm gonna go ahead and put some on top because you know i'm extra as extra can be Alright, so the last thing I have is this, this is Juice Gloss um, from NYX. It's not very, very sticky, but it is sticky. Once it starts to disappear off your lips, it does get really, really sticky. And that sticky feeling 
that I hate and it starts to feel like dust and everything is starting to stick to your lips. Yeah, I don't like that. I used on my face. Everything down to the primer I love, okay? Primer, 10 out of 10. It grips very well. The foundation, the foundation, it went on very very dewy and it set down so nicely on my skin i did such a good job with matching that shade to my skin by just picking up what they had in stores this for the powder the powder looks so good like i don't know if you can tell but it just blurred out everything under my eye and made it look so good and so seamless and i love that as far as the eyeliner goes, I actually really do like this eyeliner and I will be using it again. Everything I'm using everything I'm using is going to be put in rotation. Like I said about the mascara, the mascara it gives subtle, it doesn't give dramatic. And I'm fine with that because on some days I just want to be chilling and not the center of attention. As far as this blush goes, this definitely will be put in rotation. It is so cute so gorgeous it gives off gold and not purple like i have purple there but you really see gold and it's also topped off with this oh, just looks so good on my skin so this is what i set my um face with this is the super fix super hold misting spray the from makeup revolution and like I said, this, this is okay. I'm probably not gonna purchase any more of the scents because I kinda don't like this formula. I really, really, really do not like sticky lip glosses. Like that was a time in the land back in the day and we're not going back there, okay? No, we're not. So for the concealer and the bronzer, the concealer looks really, really good. Um, creasing is natural under the eye. There's nothing that's gonna stop that. Um, and so far it looks good it's not patchy that's what i like it's not patchy under my eyes and it's not like creasing extra extra hard under my eyes and for the bronzer the bronzer is giving sun kiss like it just looks like i just been kissed by the sun <laughs> okay it's giving it's giving everything and the eye shadow palette it's giving pigment okay and the shimmers work without spray like the shimmers work without spray and this is a really good um eyeshadow palette it's from profusion like i said everything will be linked down below thank you guys for tuning into today's video let me know if you tried any of these products if you plan on picking anything up and if you tried them let me know what your thoughts were Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified when I upload future videos and I will see you guys in the next video.